Bloomberg Global Trading Challenge is the first global competition that Westminster International University has ever participated in. It's also the first time a university from Uzbekistan competed against 500 university teams from across the world. As a course leader, as well as the mentor of the team, I'm very proud that we ranked 14th in the world, 4th in Asia, and by country representation, 5th in the world. If somebody asked me what the recipe of our achievement was, I would say three things. First, we acted early and formed a team with very talented students. Two, we trained our team well before the challenge started, so everybody was well prepared. Finally, throughout the seven weeks of the challenge, we coached and guided our students to collaborate closely, uh, to make calculated trading decisions and manage risk. We plan to leverage our knowledge next year to secure a top three position. As a team captain of this extraordinary team, I am very proud. The Bloomberg Global Trading Challenge made us feel as if we were real fund managers. With my colleagues, we learned risk management principles that became crucial, especially in the last two weeks of the challenge when we had already made 21% return and had to maintain our high ranking. I knew that climbing up the hill is challenging, but falling down is easy and I wanted to guide my team to stay as high as possible. As a team captain, I had to stay away many nights and manage the positions because some of the stocks we bought were active through the night. I'm happy and proud that we participated in Bloomberg Global Trading Challenge. We applied our knowledge and skills that we learned on Bachelor of Science Finance course to manage 1 million US dollars given to us and the risks associated with trading it. To select the best stocks, we pulled our ideas in Bloomberg Terminal, debated amongst ourselves and voted on them. It was not easy, but the end result justified our efforts. One reason for our great performance on this challenge, we tried to screen all countries around the world for their best stocks in their market. We screened and analyzed stocks uh, from different regions, sectors, profiles. Actually, one of the stocks that we have picked from semiconductor sector made us spectacular 140% return, which made us very excited from this. Our goal in the competition was to beat the global stock index called WLS index and to generate the highest return as possible. And uh, I spent many hours all day long doing equity screening on the Bloomberg terminal. And it was definitely hard work and time consuming, but at the same time, it was really fun. I learned how to analyze stock prices and charts in real time. And I'm so proud that our team did so well. I learned that fundamental analysis is not enough to beat competition. You have to be on top of the latest news about companies, because as we learned from our finance course, market prices reflect information. During the challenge, we saw how true it is that any single piece of news might have a significant impact on stock prices. So we used the company news function in Bloomberg to screen for the latest news about individual companies and our efforts really paid off.